Hi guys, this video is going to be about typing and the ways that you can type on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. If you haven't already done so, I would like to say that you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the link on the bottom right hand side of the screen. And if you feel like, if you feel like it, do leave a comment as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start, I'm just going to load up um, S Note so we can go through this. If I can find it, here we go. And I'm just going to load up a blank note. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of these because they're just annoying. Right, now basically to type, all you do is select the typing tool. And then it brings up the keyboard. Now obviously you have the option to change the keyboard from this floating keyboard that we have here by pinching. I have covered this in one of my previous videos, so but just quickly. So you've got the three options there. So you've got QWERTY keyboard, which is a big one. And then if I turn down, floating keyboard, which is what we saw in first. And then split keyboard. If you're holding the tab in both hands, then it is easier to use the split one. And plus you can see a little bit more of the screen itself. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to use the floating one just to show you some stuff. Now, um, in order to select the input method, while the keyboard is uh, on screen, all you do is select this keyboard icon on the notifications menu. We'll come up with whatever options you have. Now, I've only got the standard Samsung keyboard um, and the uh, Google Voice typing. If you've got a third party um, keyboard uh, option uh, installed from the Play Store, then that will also appear there as well obviously google voice typing is exactly what it says all you do is say what you want to um be displayed on the screen and it will then type for you not very accurately um as it shows you there but um i guess you've got to be speak more clearly i guess i'm speaking too fast or whatever the reason is so i'm just going to select done to stop that okay Right. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to start a new note there. Okay. So another way that you can type is if you go into the settings menu here, the cog there, and the settings menu is also available from here as well. So if I just select that, if you select the keyboard option, the input option rather. You can select the settings menu from there as well. Now you have a couple of options. Obviously, input language, self uh, self explanatory. Um, um, predictive text is obviously something that we all know about. Where um, as you're typing, the a tab try tries to work out what you're trying to type and gives you a set of options, and that may be the word that you're typing. Um, now continuous input is something that we'll discuss in a moment. So you've got handwriting, which is the normal as you free write. Uh, freehand write text it will then transit transfer it into digital text on screen obviously your voice input is your Google um, and then you've got a load of options to um, punctuate auto uh, capitalization character previous stuff like that we're going to go into um, continuous input now this and this is another method that you can um, use to input text now it only works with the predictive text so you have to turn that on and if we go into that, if we just solely select that, just make sure that the checkbox is selected. If we go back now, oh, oh. if I just bring that up again, it seems to have gone out. Uh, if we go back now, so basically what you do is once the keyboard comes in, all you do with the continuous input is you slide your finger or the S Pen from character to character and then it'll write whatever word that you have finished um, typing. So if we, I'm going to just type in Samsung. So all you do is you select the S and then I'm going to drag it over to the A and I'm going to drag it over to the M, S again, U and G. All continuous basically. So um so like so and then it'll produce whatever you've finished typing it doesn't work for sentences so you wouldn't be able to write a whole sentence like that um if i show you here if i just return 
and then if I go for Samsung Galaxy you won't put that on I'm just going to show you so Sam Sung if I do space here Gal XC and then nothing so it doesn't do that but what you can do is it is quicker to use this method when typing in using one hand rather than two um, obviously if the other hand is occupied um, what you can do is basically the trial will only show the last four or five characters that you've typed in and then um, as soon as you lift off it will then produce whatever you uh, wanted to type and then you just press the space bar and start, start typing the next word so that was uh, typing on the Galaxy Note 10.1 thanks for watching guys